Hey everybody. So this is the second tutorial that I'm doing um, on Watson APIs, and this API is the Tone Analyzer. So basically, we're not going to show you any of the documentation because you know how to look that up yourself, so I'm going to get right into the coding. And with the Tone Analyzer, all we need to do is pass it some text. So it's pretty easy to work with, and it'll kind of give us some um, either anger, joy, it'll tell us, um, depending on what text we wrote, uh, what kind of um, tone it has. Okay, so let's get started. I have a few things just to copy and paste. Like always, the request module, the username and password, and the URL that we're going to hit. Something to note here is that one of the query parameters is the version. Um, if you want, uh, if uh, you're watching this video at a later time and there's a newer version, make sure to change this part in the URL. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. First thing is first, just like always, we want to create our empty data object. Um, and then now we want to do data.txt is equal to I hate you um, because this will show some anger here. Then we want to use our uh, make a post request, just like always, and the URL will just be the tone URL. Next, and the uh, data, of course. And lastly, the authentication. Um, so nothing new here. Username and password is okay. So and password, perfect. Um, after that, we just want to close this off, and then make a callback function. And then in this callback function, we want to have error, response, and body. Okay. After that, we just want to console log the body. And let's see what happens. Load. So we, okay. So we get this document tone and we get an array of tones here, right? So next things, uh, we have to parse this because this is, doesn't really help us. So next, let's try to parse this. We'll just do another console log and then now we'll parse it. We'll go body dot document tone and then oopsie document tone and then after that we'll check the first index of the array and we'll we'll parse out the tone name and then after that we want to um, let's see here make a nice string and body dot document tone just like above um, and then again we just want to get that first index in the array if there's more tones you want to do a for loop to get all of it all of those but I'm not going to go over that now and let's check it out anger score one so this is after we decom we parsed these arrays um, so now let's do something like So let's try it now. So we get a ton of joy. So that makes sense because we said something like, I can't wait to see you. So that's pretty much it for the tone analyzer. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.